This is the Mobile Gamer and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Fallout Shelter Mobile, A Journey to a Utopian Vault. If you are watching this video, I believe you are a fellow overseer. Are you searching for enlightenment or entertainment? Because who would search for a Fallout Shelter video about early game vault layout? As you can see, I am playing it on my mobile phone and I've been searching the vastness of the YouTube universe in search for an early game vault layout but I found none. But since I am a new overseer, and with the seriousness of playing this game, I created this video. As you know, Fallout Shelter is a simulation game set in a post-apocalyptic world where you are given by the vault tech, as they call it, the resources and tools to lead a thriving community. Sounds plain and simple, but managing things are not that simple. And for me, the challenge at the end game is to achieve 100% happiness, maxed out level dwellers, and maxed out specials. Thus the title a journey to a utopian vault in a few seconds we will we will be having a walkthrough at my vault let's take a look at my vault and three two one so here we are my vault number zero zero two and right now we are witnessing a feral ghoul attack Let's see how long they will stand against my vault door guards. So right now, I already upgraded my vault door into fortified vault door. So it takes time for the feral ghouls to destroy it. But they won't like what's on the other side of the door. We as overseers need to protect our vault for this kind of attacks. It's important that once we have a strong dwellers and good outfits and weapons, we must assign them at our vault door as first line of defense. So I have here my top to high level dwellers, Hardness with our level 48. And I also have here Bobby Hawkins at level 32. Both dwellers are equipped with high level weapons and outfit as well as pets. We have here Cattle Dog and Valentine. Okay, this time I'll give you an overview of my early game vault layout. This was the result of trial and error, destroying and rebuilding, and a few researches. Personally, I prefer a combination of aesthetic and functionality in my vault. So it's pretty important that it's efficient and also beautiful in my eyes because it's my vault. For now, Okay, for now, let's take a look at my stats. And as I mentioned earlier, I am a new overseer. And with a 16 hours and 29 minutes cumul cumulative time played when I was recording this. I've played this 2016 by Stop a few years ago and started only September 2018. Okay, so this is the current stats of my dwellers and the current special skills of my dwellers only two averaging of two so here is the most important stat in terms of managing resources we have power food water for our resources and we need to manage well these resources as you can see the production against the consumption per minute of my vault is high for the time being i wanted to maintain the stats no more additional dwellers no more additional rooms and upgrade if only needed. Right now, my vault has 53 dwellers, and I think it's enough for me to fill out the production rooms and produce sufficient resources for my dwellers and to maintain the vault. So let's now look at the layout of my vault. At the second floor, we have the water treatment plan. It should have been the power generator, but the time I was rebuilding it, I can't afford to do it, so I just let it be. Next on the third floor is the power plants. And the depot, the residence, and on top of that is the overseer's office. We have on the next floor is our the restaurant, then the residence, and the restaurant. Two Two production rooms each except for med bay and the science lab so we're done with the production room let's go to the training rooms weight room for strength armory for the perception fitness room for the endurance lounge for the charisma classroom for intelligence of course athletics room for 
agility, and lastly, game room for luck. So this is my early game vault layout or build. For me, this layout is aesthetically beautiful. It's my opinion. It's efficient and just good enough for my early game objectives, which is to max out the special levels of my dwellers and to earn a lot of cops through quests and exploring the wasteland. So here, I'm just checking the happiness of the dwellers. So as I mentioned before, one of my early game objectives is to earn a lot of cops and to achieve that I have Mr. Handy to help me and I have five of them. So here we are, last walk through in my vault and the rooms I have unlocked. Let us see how many dwellers are each. How many dwellers are on the production rooms. So you can see that. I usually maintain four to five dwellers per production room. So I can train six or fourteen. 14 dwellers in their special this first 14 dwellers are my super dwellers after a month or so they will become the super dwellers also if you're a new overseer and searching for good resources to help you in the game read the description below these are my references that help me strategies in my early game check out the youtube channel of Pressing X and his vault log plays for good tips and tricks. I highly recommend it. And witness one last incident before I end this episode. This is the mole rat attack. And my dwellers are having a hard time destroying it. And they are very low on health. And I need it back up. And oh no, oh no, oh no. Someone's gonna be dead. Yeah. Revive her for 300 cups and it's all is well, all is well. This is it. Thanks for watching the first episode of Let's Play Fallout Shelter Mobile, a journey to a utopian vault. This is the Mobile Gamer and if you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button below. See you next episode, fellow overseer. Goodbye.